Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to configure or install FTP server in your Windows Server 2016. So you just need to follow me. So I have already installed Windows Server 2016 on my virtual machine as you can see. Uh, so uh, if you want to install or download this server on your virtual machine or your physical machine then I have already made a video on this topic so you can I will give you the link on my video description. So once you have installed Windows Server 2016 on your uh, virtual machine or physical machine, you have to go to your start menu first and after that click on this server manager. And once you have opened this screen, as you can see it's loading. So after loaded successfully, you have to click on add roles or features. So click over there and after that you will get a skin like this. So now what I have to do is I have to click on next. Now make sure that this option is selected which is role based or feature based uh, installation. Okay. So after select this option, means check this option, you have to click on next. Now no need to do anything over there, click on next. And after that you will get a skin like this. So you have to select the server roles. So what you have to do, you need to scroll down and you have to find this option which is called web server which is IIS means Internet Information Service. So you have to enable this option and click on add features and after that click on next and here you need to don't need to any, do anything over there just click on next once again next and here you need to check this option which is called FTP server okay so check this option and also check this one which is the second option FTP service the second option and after that click on next then install so it will take some time to install uh, FTP server and uh, service on your Windows Server 2016. So you have to wait for a few seconds. So once it is done, you have to click on close this window and minimize this window. So now what you have to do, you need to right click on start menu. Just right click on this Windows logo icon and go to computer management so also you can go through your server manager just go to your server manager window and click on this tool option and after that here you will get computer management so click on this computer management and you will get a same window so now what you have to do from the left side corner you have to select uh, windows user and groups so you have to expand that option and after that click on groups now right click on this blank portion area I will create one new group for FTP so I will put over there FTP now click on create and after that close so as you can see FTP group is successfully created now click on user and I will create a new user for FTP so I will put here test the username full name also test description test and I will choose one password for this test so the password I have to put over there then confirm password so you have to put same password over there now click on create after that close so as you can see test user is successfully created now go to groups again and you have to right click on FTP and click on properties and after that click on add now here you need to put your username like I have created this user account which is called test and after that click on check names and as you can see automatically test uh, is selected and OK this uh, you have to click on OK and go to apply and click on OK. So once you have done this step you have to open server manager and now go to tools and go to IIS which is Internet Information Service Manager so you have to click over there now minimize this server manager window and here is the IIS window as you can see Internet Information Service so now what you have to do you need to expand this win this one and expand site now right click on the sites and click on add FTP site 
Now you have to put your site name. In my case, I will put here technology. And now on physical path, I will create one uh, folder on my desktop. Uh, folder name, I will like create a folder like technology. Uh, share. Now after create the folder, you have to right click on, fo on your folder and go to properties. And now here you will get one uh, sharing option. So you have to click on share and sorry advanced sharing you have to go to advanced sharing and click on share this folder now go to permissions and after that click on add now here you need to put your username in my case it is test which i have already created after that click on check names and click on ok now give the full permission means full control change permission to this user account and click on apply then ok once it is done, you have to click on apply, then OK once again and close this window. Now I will uh, add this folder over there. So I will I have to click on this three dot button and now select desktop. And as you can see, technology share folder is showing over there. So I have to select that folder and click on OK. Once it is done, click on next. Now from here, you have to select no SSL and after that, click on next. Here you have to select authentication basic and here you have to from the drop down menu you have to select specified roles and user groups. After select that when, uh, that option you have to put your group names. My group name is FTP as, as I have created already. So let me show you once again. If I will go to the computer management and if I will expand this and click on groups as you can see FTP is selected. And under that, I have added test account. So I have to put over there the group names and the permission. You can give the read and write both. So I will put only read permission over there. If you will select this option, the user can uh, edit or modify your files. So I will uncheck this option for now and click on finish. So once it is done, you have to go to your start menu and type over there CMD. Now click on command prompt and after that you have to put over there IP config to check your IP address. So in this case here is my computer IP address which is 192.168.61.132. So I will copy this IP address and go to my browser and after that I will put over there FTP semicolon slash slash then IP address. After that I have to press enter. So as you can see username password is showing over there. So I have to put the username in my case it is test and the password I have to put here and after that click on login. So if it is not working for you then go to computer management once again go to user and type over there just right click over there and click on set password. Once again I will set the password for this user account. and click on OK. Now let's see it's working or not. Put over there the password is not working so just go to your desktop folder right click over there go to properties now click on sharing and click on the share button. Now I will add test account over there and click on add so you can give read write permission so i will give only read permission click on share now let me check once again it is working or not so as you can see it's working properly so now what i have to do is i have to i will cre uh, create one uh, file under that folder so here's a text file test file so if I'll refresh this page, as you can see, test document it uh, showing over there text uh, test.txt file. So if I'll put any word over under that txt file, and if I'll refresh this page, as you can see, size is showing over there, and as you can see, it is showing properly. Also, you can add um, uh, access your folder using run 
just go to your run box just pressing windows and r button together and after that type over this slash less then ip address then press enter now as you can see technology share folder is showing over there so here it is so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have been queries or question then comments down below so i will see you guys next time next video take care